morning people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be doing an unboxing of a mystery box you guys um it's christmas day and i was really debating back and forth about whether or not i wanted to order a mystery box from this company because i ordered last year and i was slightly disappointed but after watching some unboxings for um what they included in this year's mystery box i went ahead and decided to give them another try i'm going to leave the video for my unboxing from last year's mystery box um from this brand in my description box below but it's none other than if you all have seen the title of the video not polish you guys i decided to go ahead and give them another chance because i did really want to get some more of their um acrylics um as well as their gel polishes i recently used their gel polishes to do a set for one of my friends um i'll also leave a picture Matter of fact, here it is right here <laughs> Um, these are some press on nails that I just recently did for one of my friends and I used their gold metallic aligner that came in the set and I actually loved how it performed and so now I'm wanting to see and so now I'm wanting more of their products and so luckily their mystery box was still on sale so let's get into it and also I guess while I'm talking about it I just got my sizing kits together you guys again I'm doing a lot of my press on nails locally um at some point i am hoping to bring it on to my website so that if you all are interested in purchasing you can as well but that's all in the works but yeah i just got my sizing kits together i have a friend that's really into extra extra long nails and luckily i found this huge card that i could fit both stiletto and coffin on and then like i said this this was the set that she recently um requested and so yeah y'all let's get into it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open this box up i'm pretty excited i really hope that <laughs> i get the items that i saw in everybody else's box that's what i'm hoping for um otherwise i might be disappointed like i was last year but let's let's just see let's just see what we get let's just see what we get Oh, and one thing I want to say too is I was very impressed with their shipping. So I ordered this box, I think it was like on the 20th or the 21st of December. And I honestly did not think I would get it before Christmas, you guys. And to my surprise, they they shipped it out the very next day. And I got it, believe it or not, on December 24th so on Christmas Eve in the afternoon i didn't even think they would be delivering on christmas eve so i love that they got it here in time for the holidays and so i let this be my christmas gift to myself okay so yeah let's go ahead and get this open here okay so this is what it looks like up front and then back here you all know they got the cute little packaging that says not polished babes do it better so that's really cute packaging here and yeah y'all let's just i'm just gonna hop into it i'm excited to see what they got in this box because like i said last year i was a little disappointed this year i'm hoping it's a it's a complete 180 okay i'm gonna go get this open yes they got all the tons and tons of cute little peanuts um i do think it's cute they got them shaped like a little heart so that's cute and whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and move this out the way and yes, I can already see that the item that I wanted is in here. One of them anyway. So, get this stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yes, um, this here is their pigment palette, you guys. I saw a lot of people unboxing this, and I thought it looked beautiful, and it, it does. <laughs> um, so, let me go ahead and get this open, take a closer look here. What's interesting is that last year they their boxes came with um, loose pigments, and so it looks like this year they got the pigment palette. This is really pretty. I like this packaging. It's really nice. Ooh. Yeah, it's beautiful. So this is their pigment palette here. It honestly reminds me of like eyeshadow palette, but yeah, these are some really beautiful colors. Um, looks like these down here I might be able to chrome out some nails with so I'm really excited to go ahead, be able to play around with this and just for comparison sake last year's mystery box they actually included these loose pigments in the box and these are more like neon colors so they included more I guess of like everyday neutral colors um, in this year's box so I thought that was pretty cool let's see okay so they also included triple XL square c curve tips okay um a lot of people were upset about having c curve tips um i don't think i really mind all that much and it's triple xl holy moly so that's pretty long and it comes with 500 500 of them and um let me get these open i want to take a look see 
Okay, and this is what the nail tips look like. Okay, not bad at all. I feel like I got nail tips like this already. So that's the C curve here. It is a pretty deep curve. But honestly, I have nail tips and this is kind of the curve that mine's have on it. So I don't mind the C curve at all. Um, but these are way longer than I would normally use. So I would probably end up just clipping these down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think they look pretty good. They feel pretty sturdy. And I love this year that they actually put them inside of a box. That's really nice. Last time they just had them in a bag. So I love that they did that. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay. Let's see here. So in these little bottles here we got. Yes. We got the matted here. Okay. So I have not used their matte top coat before. But I'm excited to give it a go. Okay, that's the consistency of it. Um, looks like it's definitely of a thicker consistency, which I absolutely love. Very high viscosity, love that. Okay, so we got their matted top coat. Excited to have that. Um, and then we got their. Yes. Okay, so no, I love it. I'm loving the box already. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. So. Now we have their glossy top coat. I'm so excited to have their matte and glossy top coat. That's just that's just awesome. And so let's see what that looks like. Ooh. It's also very, very thick. Oh my gosh. I actually love how thick it is. I'm absolutely here for that. You guys see how slow that drip is? Oh yeah, I'm here for this. I'm absolutely here for it. Okay, and it says advanced formula. Okay, so we got the matte top coat and the glossy top coat. So that is really exciting. We did get a gel liner as well. Let's take a look at this. Now with the gel liners, I saw that a lot of people's like their brush is all bent. I really hope that mine's isn't because I, like I said, I used some of their products recently in that set and I used their metallic liner. It came in a different bottle, it was in a white bottle and I love how it performed and so I hope the brush ain't bent on this but uh, anywho we got the black gel liner okay and let's take a look please tell me my brush is not bent oh thank god it's not okay so oh this mug is thick wow this looks very 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 pigmented y'all see that I'm trying to see if I can get and it's super thick which I love See if I can get it up close. It looks like it's a really, really thin point on that brush as well. Absolutely love that super thick formula. I love that they included a staple color. You can never have enough black. Um, you'll definitely use that to get a lot of use out of it. So I'll definitely get a lot of use of this. So that's pretty awesome. And then we also have here their monomer, you guys. I am excited that they put some of their monomer in here. I've been wanting to try some of their monomer along with more of their acrylics for a long time now. So um, it says it's non-yellowing sculpting liquid unavailed adhesion and it's their uh, eight ounce bottle. So super excited to give this a go. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do. I do smell the monomer through the packaging. Actually, when I opened up my box, um, I did get a whiff of monomer. Not anything too crazy. Um, it's not anything too, too strong, too crazy, but you can smell it through the bottle. So I got this. And then, okay, two in one dipping acrylics. I want to see if I got my six acrylics like I really, really been wanting, y'all. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, and I did. I did, I did, I did. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I don't think I got any of these colors last year, so that's great. Um, oh, I wish this was a two ounce acrylic, but let me not complain, y'all. I got my powders, let me just be happy. But yeah, they put this acrylic in there. I guess this is like a gold. I'm sorry, I guess this is like a glitter acrylic and it's blue, it's called Mid Moonlight. I was hoping that I would have had all two ounce acrylics because the rest of these are two ounces. This was just one ounce, but that's okay. Let's take a look see here. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get all these swatch. I'm gonna swatch everything in another video, but this is what the blue acrylic looks like. It's a blue glitter. Okay, and that's in a one ounce bottle. I'm I'm excited that I have all like <laughs> I have acrylics, okay? That's that's exciting. So this here looks like a mauve, like a mauve brown, and it's called black licorice. Okay, let me see what that looks like. Okay, so this is like a gray color. 
All right, really nice. And these are their two-in-one powders, so these can be used as dip powders or as acrylics. I'm gonna be using them as acrylics. Next we have Purple Haze. I do feel like I might have gotten Purple Haze last time, but I'll have to go double check, okay? Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's a nice, just muted purple, okay? I got, it looks like I got a nude, which is exciting. I really was hoping to get Nude Panther, but that's okay. I think at some point I'll just have to go and buy it myself, but this is called Topless and Barefoot, okay? Somebody going skinny dipping, okay? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay. Looks like a really pretty nude color here. So that's what we got there. It's like a light brown. One thing I did see consistent across the board was that everybody got milky white. So not bad to have it all. Definitely a staple that you'll get use out of. Okay. So this is what the milky white looks like. Very cute. Like I said, I'll be swatching all of these in another video. So definitely make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And then last but not least is uh, Last Love. And when I say I am in love with this orange color, I love orange. It's actually my second favorite color. Right behind yellow. And whoo, look at that, y'all. Is she not beautiful? Is she not beautiful? Absolutely gorge, okay? So yeah, I am happy that this year they actually included six acrylic powders in their medium boxes because I'm gonna tell you right now, like that was really the main reason that I got their box last year was so that I could test out more of their acrylics and I was pretty disappointed to see that I only got three acrylics in their medium box. I actually ordered both mystery boxes last year, the small and the medium, and I only got six acrylics total between the two boxes. So I was pretty disappointed with that. So happy to see that I got six acrylics, which is my one medium box. And I guess I waited really late to order this because I just really wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or not. But so far I'm very happy. And um, only small gripe is that I do wish that they had included another two ounce, um, another two ounce acrylic because I did see that everybody else had that. But you know what? I am mad at it. I got my six powders. I will, I will live with it. Okay, I will live with it. And then last but not least is we got these nail lacquers. Okay, and I think that's everything that came in the box. It is. It is. So I'm going to move this out the way. And so yeah, it came with six different. Oops, nail lacquers and oh man, turn the box up. <laughs> it came with six different nail polishes and nail lacquers. And this is actually part of the reason why I went ahead and jumped on repurchasing the not polished box. I actually swatched out some of their gel polishes. And like I said, I used that gel liner from last year and I love how it performs. So now I want to get more of it. So let's see what we got here, you guys. Coconut cream. Oh, this looks good. Okay, so these are all the colors here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you them all up close. Okay, so the first one here is a uh, coconut cream. This looks like a really beautiful nude color. Okay, I do really like the consistency of their polishes. Um, that's what it looks like at the top. Let's take a closer look at this. Ooh. Y'all, this color looks gorge. Oh my God, I think this might be swatch worthy right now, okay? Holy, oh my God. This kind of looks like Sea Swing and Sun. It's giving me XOXO um, Madam Glam. It's giving Nail, nail Reserve um, Sea Swing and Sun. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna be in love with this nude, y'all. Ooh, okay. All right, so that's the first color here. Okay, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I can't even wait. I wanna swatch this out right now. This is that coconut cream color. I just wanna see what it looks like because it is so pretty. Okay, let's swatch that out real quick, y'all, because holy moly. Oh my gosh. This is such a pretty nude. It's one of those like jelly nudes that you kind of have to build up. Oh, I love this. It's gonna be so good for like French tips, glitter ombres. A good base for abstract nail art. Oh my gosh. Very, very happy to have this color. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. This is what that coconut cream looks like swatched out with two coats and a top coat. And oh my gosh, y'all, it is so pretty. It's a little bit lighter than I thought it was gonna be, but it is still a really gorgeous nude. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, okay, so let me just get back to unboxing. <laughs> I just had to see what it looked like. Next color I have here is 
I like like you a lot. That's a cute name. Okay. And so this here is what that color looks like. So that's what it looks like on the top. And ooh. yeah, it's a really cute, like light purple. Um, I guess it's supposed to be lilac. It's a little bit more muted slash mauve for me. Um, but it's still a really pretty purple. Next we have OG Duo 143. Doesn't have a name with it, but this looks like a really beautiful kind of like a like a peachy, like a peachy orange. That's what it looks like here in the cap. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's like a really deep peach color. It's kind of giving fall vibes a little bit. Slightly auburnish to me, like a really, really light auburn orange. Really pretty. Next we have OG Duo 144. So this looks like a purple that has like a like a chrome shift to it. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. That y'all see that blue shift to it? Like a chromey shift undertone to the purple. This is really pretty. I like this a lot. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. That's really pretty. Next we have Frost You. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Looks like a really pretty glitter blue. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Ew. Okay. Well, first off, <laughs> very thick and goopy. This mug looks like it's been sitting. Ew. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this is expired though. Like, I don't know. What y'all think about this? I mean, this mug a little. It's goopy, it's slimy, it's the, the, the brush all bent up in it. I don't know, this one look like it's had a hard life, okay? Yeah, I don't think that's how the gel polish is supposed to be, but nonetheless, it is actually a pretty blue glitter, so I'll see if I can still make this work, but not that impressed with what is happening with this brush and the consistency of these polishes. At least this polish anyway. Not sure how I feel about that, but this is Frost You. I mean, look how stringy that is. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm just not. Mm -mm. That's not hot. Ooh, that's not hot. But it is, if you all look at it on the stem of the brush, though, um, it is a really pretty, like, uh, light blue with some pretty, like, it's a really pretty light blue with some hollow gold uh, glitters in it. I wonder how the nail polish is if the gel polish was thick and goopy like that. Oh, I can't even get it open. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like the uh, polish is like, it's more like it was sealed shut. This this piece just came off on the lid. Okay, y'all. I don't know. Okay, this one's, the consistency of the regular polish is still nice. So this is a better representation of the color. It's really pretty though. Really pretty. Okay. Alright, and then last but not least is we have OG Duo 140. And let's see what that looks like. Looks like a really nice fiery orange. Ooh, and it is. How beautiful is this? It's kind of like a blood orange. Is it? Yeah, I consider it a blood orange. Yeah, it's, it's a nice neon blood orange color. Really, really pretty. So, yeah, y'all, that's everything that's included. I'm going to go ahead and swatch things out in another video. Alrighty, so this is everything that was included in this year's Not Polished Mystery Box. This is 2023. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm actually really happy with everything that I got in my mystery box. I love the variety of items that they included in this year's box. It has all, it has some staple items here that you'll definitely get some good use out of. It comes with their glossy top coat, their matte top coat, a black gel liner, which you'll definitely use, a pigment palette, which is going to be really fun for some nail art. I love that they included their monomer so that I can give it a try with all these acrylics that they put in here they get they gave me six different acrylics which I was really happy about and six of their gel polish and regular polish duos I mean what could you not like about this box and they also included some c-curve uh, square nail tips and so yeah y'all I'm really happy I'm glad I went ahead and made the purchase um, definitely more satisfied than I was from last year's box I think that all the feedback that they got from last year they took it into consideration and curated a really nice mystery box for this year so that means next year I'm gonna be more tempted to actually maybe go for their large medium box because 
Like I said, last year, again, I'll leave the unboxings down below, but I got their small box and I got their medium box. And between the two boxes, I only got six acrylics. And I was like pretty disappointed about that and those infamous foil flicks that everybody else got. Um, but I was really happy to see this year's box with the six acrylics, the six gel polishes, really cool nail art stuff, and some of their staples. Like I said, and the monomer, like that's awesome. Like I, I can't wait to try these products out. If you guys can't tell, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Um, and so next year, who knows? I might venture out and even get their large mystery box so we'll see what things are looking like next year but great job now polish I'm glad you all listened to the feedback I'm happy with my box I hope you all continue to do these mystery boxes and just continue to you know put good product in there you know the only thing I say I was disappointed about with this box you know I'll put it out there is the this polish you can just tell this expired right it's old it's goopy but you know I'll still probably be able to get some use out of it and then this one here, I just wish that they had included six of the two ounce acrylics. I got one one ounce acrylic. That's okay. Um, but yeah, y'all, these are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Did you partake in the mystery boxes this year? Um, I had fun this year with it. Last year, not so much this year. I think they redeemed themselves. So yeah, I'm really excited to try more of their products. I also went ahead and splurged on another mystery box. You guys have to stay tuned to the channel. It's a it's a brand I haven't actually tried before. And it's from Brother Cosmetics. I've been seeing a lot of buzz about them um, on a couple of channels and their mystery box. So I splurged and went ahead and tried it out. Wanted to do something different this year. I was going to get Young Nails mystery boxes, but I'll be honest with you guys. When they unboxed them, I had actually placed the order for all three. But when they unboxed it, I went ahead and canceled my order because all the things they included in there I already have a lot of so there was no point in getting duplicates of a lot of stuff but I do think their mystery boxes was great for somebody just getting into nails and wanting to get the basics a nail drill a lamp basic nail art stuff I think young nails boxes was great for that this year but not necessarily what I was looking for because a lot of that stuff I already had but yeah y'all stay tuned to the channel um, I am going to be swatching out these acrylics as well as these gel polishes and I will be unboxing my brother cosmetics mystery boxes once I get them I did get the small and the medium so yeah y'all stay tuned to the channel I'm excited y'all can tell I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope y'all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye